The Dirt Show. Remember what happened in this case. Starts out as a misdemeanor. Problem is you can't prosecute for a misdemeanor because the misdemeanor is barred by the statute of limitations. So magically, the prosecution makes a blessing and turns the barred misdemeanor into a felony. And if it's a felony, the statute of limitations is longer. How does it become a felony? Not because of what he did. What he did was a misdemeanor because of what he thought when he did it. What was in his mind when he did it? A mind crime changes it from a misdemeanor to a felony. When he made the entry in the book calling the payment of hush money a legal expense, it wasn't just to cover up his alleged immoral act. It was to maybe cheat on his taxes three years hence, which he didn't do. Or maybe it was to influence the election, but the election people have looked into that and they said no. So he just made up a crime, made up a crime, and then instructed the jury in a way that any appellate court should reverse, but won't probably, or might not in this case, because his name is Trump. The Bible says to judges, lo takir ponim, do not recognize faces. Do not do justice differently based on who the person is. And clearly, nobody, nobody whose name wasn't Trump would ever have been prosecuted under this fake, fake, fake criminal prosecution. Misdemeanor changed to a felony. And then you tell the jury, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you don't have to decide what he was actually thinking. It could have been A. It could have been B. It could have been C. It could have been D. You don't have to tell us what you think it is. You don't have to agree. Just if one of you thinks it's A, and three of you think it's B, and six of you think it's C, and two of you think it's D, that's 12. And if you get 12 people thinking that there's a reason why he did it, and that reason was an improper reason, voila, you get a felony conviction. I've been teaching criminal law and practicing criminal law and writing about criminal law for 60 years. I don't want to brag. I am the most experienced criminal lawyer in the country when it comes to the combination of teaching it at Harvard, writing 54 books, 25 of them about criminal law, practicing it, representing close to 300 people, some of the most obscure, some of the most famous people in the world. I know criminal law. I know it better than the judge. I know it better than the Attorney General of the United States. I am an expert on the law and on criminal law, and I do not understand this charge. I don't know what he was charged with. I can't understand it. I can't explain it. And if I don't understand it and I can't explain it, how do you expect a defendant to look at the statute books and understand that this would be a felony? Thomas Jefferson once said that for a crime to be valid, it has to be so clear that you can understand it when you read it while running. While you're running, you open the book and you read the statute and it's so clear, you don't have to stop, you can read it while running. Well, I'm sitting. I do not understand this case. Maybe everybody else is smarter than I am, but you're not more experienced than I am. And I still wanna hear from somebody, write, write me. I'll, be a, I'll, I'll invite you on my show, explain to me what this conviction is of. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't understand it because there is no it there. There is no crime. People often ask me who manages my social media reels. And it's a company called View, V-I-E-W, Movement. View Movement. They've done great work for me. I have to tell you, they've really, really been terrific and they've boosted my viewership. So if you're looking to boost your own social media presence with short form videos, use the code DERSHOW, capital, all caps, D-E-R-S-H-O-W, to save 15% on your service with them. And if you want to see more about this, you can see it in the link in the description below.